Regarding the concept of God in Islam, it's quote to you Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Qul Allahu ahad. Say, He is Allah one and only. Allah Hussamad. Allah the absolute and eternal. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He begets not, nor is begotten. Walam There's nothing like him. This is a four-line definition of Almighty God given in the glorious Quran. Any person says so and so candidate is God, if that candidate fits in this four-line definition, we Muslims have got no objection in accepting that candidate as God. And this is exactly what is also mentioned in the Hindu scriptures, the same four points. The first is Qul Huwallahu Ahad. Say he is Allah one and only. Same as Chandogya Upanishad, chapter number six, section number two, verse number one, which says, Ikkam Evidityam, God is only one without a second. The second point, Allah Samad, Allah the absolute eternal. Same thing which you mentioned in Bhagavad Gita, chapter number 10, verse number three, that Almighty God is the supreme Lord of all the worlds. Point number three, Lam Yalid, Walam Yulad. He begets not, nor is begotten. The same thing which is mentioned in Suhitash Vatar Upanishad, chapter number 6, verse number 9, that Almighty God has got no parents, He has got no master, He has got no mother, He has got no father. And the fourth is, Walam Yakul Lahu Kufwan Ahad. There's nothing like Him. The same which is mentioned in Suhitash Vatar Upanishad, chapter number 4, verse number 19, and Yajur Ved, chapter number 32, verse number 3, which says, Natasya Patima Asti. Of Him, there is no likeness. There's nothing like him.